uh, if you're new here please subscribe also this is i don't even know i did like three video uh, two videos before of riyadh's fn2 and chris's fn2 both tuned by client performance i'll um, put them in the description below you can check their cars out both modded uh, k series and now this is the third um clown performance tuned on the and yeah um we're with keenan and he's just gonna tell us about more about his car and what he done to it and stuff because this is a special car and we drove okay i'll play that after this but yeah keenan's gonna tell us more about his how's it guys um yeah so this is uh obviously my accord uh type s it's obviously had some work to it as well um, yeah, we can start off with um, just obviously uh, suspension setup. So we're running ISC coilovers, full uh, strut brace, ultra from ultra racing. The car is lekker, no? Yeah, I mean, they are quite happy with it. No um, spaces on. No spaces on. Um, the wheels are 18 uh, eight. Um, so I mean, that obviously spaces it out quite a bit. Yeah. Um, yeah so some Lenzo, uh, some Lenzo rims. Uh, the body roll is is insane. I mean. Um, uh, when when you know when turning into corners, so it just makes things um, a lot uh, less risky. Oh, um, I never yeah. felt any. Uh, the car felt very like planted. Mm, and that's obviously because of the rear sway bar that they have fitted. Oh, good. Yeah, so, uh, so that helped a lot. I saw this engine, baby. Uh, yo. Yeah, so... Um, it's going. So yeah, I mean, you've got your, your K24, of course. Um, obviously put a, a, a K20 head on. Um, all the work obviously done by Oh, is the K20 head? Yeah. Bruh. Yo, bro. Yeah, so um, all the work done by, by Clown Performance. Um, it's you. Obviously Daryl. Um, so yeah, I mean K20 head, RSP head, uh, running an ROC uh, intake. And then of course the 90 mil uh, induction, um, Clown Performance. So we got a J37 throttle body. Um, yeah, and then uh, I think that's, oh, and then obviously a set of uh, drop-in cams, uh, Skunk 2s. Um, yeah, and I think that that's about it for, for the motor. How much power are you making? Um, right now, 195.6. Um, so, I mean, I'm quite happy with that. And um, the goal was 200. 200. Uh, but or it's is, still is, still it's is. It's basically like 200. And how much uh, Newtons? Uh, 268 at the Ooh. moment. Yeah. Guys, this is daily. Quick ad break. If you're new here, please like and subscribe. If you're not new here, please like and subscribe also uh we're gonna get some flybys of keenan's car and yeah this is the third climb performance car also this video i don't know if this video is gonna go up before saldana currently now it's a week before saldana so i don't know if this video is gonna be up before then but this car is gonna be at saldana so if you would like to see more of this car uh wait for the youtube video This is his daily and yeah. it, it's your know, right blows my yeah. mind that you're dailying like a, a sleeper basically. Yeah, I mean look it's a really fun daily. So um I mean that was the goal as well. Um you know on the way to work you wanna give it some stick as well. So yeah 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 yeah. So um I think uh, yeah full exhaust as well. Um got a noise boys header, 76 more to 63 uh, exhaust. This is the gearbox that has LSD or so? Yeah, LSD, so uh, M Factory LSD, oh. um, FN2 Type R uh, or, or EP3 gears, uh, so shorter gear ratios. Um, That's quite everything, no? Like yeah, well, basically <laughs> it's from here. Yeah. I try to, try to obviously build it um, you know, as the full package. Yeah, yeah. Um, being suspension, safety, uh, power. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. So yeah, I mean, I'm quite happy with it. Our car is running a stack. I mean, it definitely, you can hear it. I yeah, mean, you can, can hear yeah. it.
Lad slet mig. Jo, men jeg skal ikke back like this, but I wasn't even moving, the, the, the car was moving me to the back a little bit. But you can actually know that this car is going to do that maybe, when you're driving like like this. Because you can feel it yeah. there, like. And obviously, you know, thanks to the, to the tune as well. Yeah, yo. Um, the, the, the increase of the torque is like, um, it's so smooth. Yeah. You know, so it's not like... You're taken by surprise. You can feel it build up. Yeah. But after every gear, they're still like still pulling like like the first gear yeah. basically. But, like I have like five first gears basically. <laughs> Yo. I'm still shocked, with bro. Like like the way I'm like pushed back and. That's uh, yeah. I mean, the Yo. torque is a lot to get used to. Uh, you know that feeling when you like when you when you feel like you're getting narrow, but. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm getting a bit of that. Yeah. And you know, my bro, yo. Another thing is, imagine having this motor in a, in a swap, like a Civic. Yo! That's crazy. But that's still pull hard, bro. Mm. Even when you came there for now with the MR2. Was that second, man? That was third. Third? Yeah. Yo, I felt like second, bro. Very so, bro. Um, shocked. Yeah, so that's what the FN2 gears you'll find that. First is almost like um, we don't even consider first. Not that first doesn't is exist. E, this is like <laughs> your. Uh, I change immediately. It's almost like when you when you when you change the box, it's almost like um, second becomes first, third oh. becomes second. Yeah. Oh, oh, it's because it's short. Uh, it's so sh it's so short. Yeah. How much reps are you doing if you're going six? If you're driving like, for example, like 120. So most people when they do this gear set. They'll uh -huh. keep the court gear for cruising gear. Oh, okay, so you kept your 60? Nah, oh. I said put the F into 60. Oh, the whole yeah. set. Okay. I didn't want where I was driving and the moment I put it to 60, it's like, like all the fun stuff. Oh, yeah. yeah. I wanted to keep that. Like the brakes give you a lot of confidence. Oh, yeah. I would have braked way before then. Yo. Yeah, one thing obviously you forgot to mention as well is um, uh, Koi is obviously a, a light and flywheel. Um, obviously the type R flywheel, um, XZD clutch. Um, and then just one thing about the brakes as well, I mean, obviously it, it looks like a bigger brake kit. Um, it is in fact, um, they're lighter, so full aluminium uh, compared to uh, the cast iron uh, that we get with a, with a factory um, Accord, Accord brakes. You said the brakes are from a, a FD2? A DC5, DC5 type R. DC5 yeah. type R. DC5 type R. Full, fully custom, um, just so that we could run a bigger disc. Does it fit just so? Yeah, so because it was customized, um, done by engineering company. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, um, because it was customized, you can run a thicker disc, a bigger disc. Um, oh, okay. Yeah, and that obviously helps, helps things a bit. Yo, yeah. the mods, my bro. Yeah. And that was all, you started from, like, you got the car, seven years. So from the first year you started modding, was like the second year? Or... No, so actually, um, I was actually, I would say about the fourth year. The fourth yeah. year. So three years and it got to this. Yeah. Oh, it's quick, yeah. bro. So, um, yeah, so what, what I did was, is um, obviously bought parts, uh, or part a month. Mm. Um, also, oh, okay. the parts are very expensive, so. Bought, uh, you know, a part a month. Um, obviously, you know, in Cape Town, you do your mandatory stuff like, mm -hmm. um, you know, lowering the car, putting a rim on, um, yeah. those types of things. So that's obviously where it started first. Um, after I got the car, um, did things like the exhaust and all of that. Um, I knew where I wanted the car. So you bought the car stock, stock, not even exhaust. Stock, stock. Yeah, not even exhaust. Yeah, um, got it for a really good price as well. So um, uh, you know, when when there was no hype. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. So um, yeah, so that was that was a plus. Um, obviously, the the you know it got to a point where you know I'm not I'm not forking out as much mm. in terms of in terms of monthly payments and things. So you know you could afford to do um, you know rims, drop the car, do the exhaust yeah. and all of that. And the thing is, like those things, I all did in mind with um, you know I all did uh, uh, you know with with uh, with 
you know, knowing where I wanted the car to be. Mm. So, for instance, like the exhaust, this I was running 76 mil um, exhaust with a car running just a flashed ECU, um, stock standard, you yeah. um, But I opted for the exhaust because I knew what I wanted out of the car later on in, mm. in, in, in future. Guys, it's the dream motor that like K24 bottom, K20 head and still work. Like, yo, what else? What else is there, bro? Yeah. Until Honda releases a new. Yeah. What's oh, after uh, the K? Oh, uh, in motor or. Yeah. I don't know what. But, next. um, yeah, that's another thing. So, just just to put it out there, it's, it's, it's stock block. So. Oh, stock block. Yeah, so there's nothing obviously done to the piston. Yo. There's standard piston, standard rods. Yeah. And it's keeping up with everything, like. Yeah, I mean, obviously, uh, you know, we'll probably get to a point where we'd like to rev higher. Okay. Um, How much are you revving it now at the moment? 8.5. You are still a lot, bro. Yeah, you're yeah. Also, you're going off the... Yeah, <laughs> just just about, just about, yeah. You so, um, but that's obviously something that, that I'll leave, uh, you know, in the hands of Daryl and, mm. you know, Ziad and them uh, from Clown Performance. So, mm. yeah, then we obviously have, the, obviously, the, the in-dash. Mm, this was the first thing I saw when I climbed in the car. Yeah, so we've got the, the in dish as well, just as an added feature. Um, obviously, with that um, upgraded sound system. Um, yeah, like I said, the car's a daily, so you want it to be comfortable. Mm. You know? Um, you want that, uh, you know, if for instance you need to take a car on a long road, I mean, you can. Mm. Plus, you um, have it um, six speed also. Yes, yeah. And. Um, the suspension was set up like you know, with the with the with the aim of um, you know doing track days mm -hmm. at Kalani. So um, yeah, and having the power, of course. So you know, being a daily, being a road car, but also you know, if for instance you feel like doing a track day, you could if you wanted to.